all of the JJ episodes now on Yippee! Snuffy's birthday surprise. The sun was bright over frosty pines one fine winter morning. But even brighter was the smile on Jack Frosty's face. Jack Frosty was the snowman that Snuffy had helped make. And now he was one of Snuffy's best friends. Hiya, Jack. How's it going? Now, since Jack Frosty was a snowman, he couldn't really talk. But that didn't bother Snuffy. Jack was always cheery and he made Snuffy feel good. Besides, today Snuffy had great news to tell him. Jack, today is my birthday. I have a lot to do to get ready for it, but I wanted you to know since you're my good friend. Well, I gotta run. I'll visit you later. Bye-bye. Snuffy, there's lots of ice up here. Uh, sorry, JJ. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I thought you came up here to spend time with Jack Frosty. I did, but now I have to get to Cherrytown. Mrs. Fields at the general store is going to help me choose my present for my birthday tomorrow. You mean you don't already know what you want? Nope, I can't make up my mind. How about a ball? Nope. Or a new set of wheels. Nope. Or, or fancy new wing flaps. Hmm. Nope. What sort of thing would make me happy? What sort of thing would be the best? Please, can you tell me what would that be? Well, Snuff, I'll give it my best. Well, thanks for your good ideas. I'll see you later. 
So Snuffy went on his way, but he still didn't know what he wanted for his birthday. before he was headed back home again. Hi there, Snuffy. Hi, Tracy. You seem pretty sad for someone who's having a birthday tomorrow. I just came from the general store. I was looking for something that I might want for my birthday, but I still couldn't find anything I liked. I know what I want to do with my birthday. You do? What? I want a really bright searchlight. Snuffy talked. Jack just stood there listening cheerfully, as a good friend should. Finally... So, Jack, that's my story. Thanks for listening. You're the best listener ever. I'll let you know how it all turns out. See you later. And as Snuffy started to leave, he turned to look at his always cheerful friend. And suddenly, he knew what he wanted for his birthday. <gasps> Ha! 
But what we want to know is, what are you going to do with it? You'll see. And that's all he would say. After his birthday party, he put the snowblower in his cargo hold and flew up to Frosty Pines. Nobody saw him for some time. And then... Snuffy called in on his radio. He wanted everybody to join him up in Frosty Pines right away. I can't wait to see what Snuffy's done with his new present. When they got there, they were in for the surprise of their lives. Hi, everybody. You wanted to know what I was going to do with my new snowblower. Well, here it is. Like Brenda said, when you do something nice for somebody, 